Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope you're all having a great day so far. I hope your week has been amazing as well. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to share a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. My family and I have been incredibly busy this summer getting ready for a very big move at the end of the summer. Um, if you missed yesterday's upload, I had talked about it and gone over everything, but long story short, we are moving to Japan. Um, at the end of the summer for three years. So we will be leaving in September. And if this is shocking news to you, trust me when I say it was very shocking news to my family as well. And again, I went over all of that in that video that I uploaded yesterday. So if you're curious and wanna check that out, I will leave it linked down below for you. And I also discuss the future of my YouTube channel um, at the end of that video as well. So, Today's Dollar Tree haul is going to be a lot of like cleaning supplies. We're actually selling our home here. We're actually meeting with our realtor today. And so I bought a lot of supplies for cleaning the house, getting it prepared for photos, um, for the listing, and a lot of things, I guess, for the plane ride. Actually, not, not a lot of things. I think a couple of things. So let's go ahead and get started. I did grab a few boxes of these storage bags. They're pretty much like extra large Ziploc bags with a handle. I have used them before to store some of my daughter's toys and things, kind of like in this picture. But I got these because I thought these would be perfect to kind of store our shoes and our luggage to kind of wrap them up and put our shoes in these bags before like mixing it with our clothing. But then I thought about it after I left Dollar Tree and in the tool bench or hardware section of Dollar Tree, they sell those slip on shoe covers. And I was like, why didn't I just get those? But I, I probably will end up going back and getting those for that reason for our shoes. But I still think I could use these to help us kind of pack and organize some of our things because we actually have three different shipments of our stuff. So we have our regular household goods shipment that could take three, anywhere from three to six months because it does have to go on a container ship. And then we have a unaccompanied baggage or an express shipment that should take anywhere from four weeks to two months. Um, and then we have to put things in long-term storage here because we can't take everything over there. So it's gonna be a wild ride for the packing and preparing process. And then for cleaning, I got two packs of these Brillo Basics. They're pretty much like a very durable paper towel. And I think that they increase the count. I think they used to have like a four pack and now they have a nine count pack. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I did get two of those because two of these because I do like to clean with paper towels a lot, but they can get expensive using paper towels. So I like the fact that I can just rinse these out, dry them and then reuse them. Um, so I did get two packs of those. And then I also purely out of convenience, I don't think this is a good deal at all, but I did get two boxes of these heavy duty Glad trash bags. You get um, four bags in here and it fits a 30 gallon can and it does have the gain scent. So I just got these for when cleaning up our house and maybe taking some things to, I don't know, the trash or the dump. So I picked up those and then I got a nine pack of these sponges. These are just a great value. I'm sorry, a six pack of these sponges. And I, I don't think I've ever noticed that they have the nail guard on here. And I've talked about it before, I think with the Brillo brand that I've purchased in the past, I like the nail guard because it's easy to slide over the inside of the window sills, that kind of awkward like ledge that's on the inside of the, the track, I guess. This little notch right here is perfect for cleaning that. You just kind of glide it across, you spray your, cleaning solution and then slide it across. So I did pick up some sponges and then I got, I have a couple of these already and these are excellent for cleaning so many different things. And I also got the soap dispenser. 
my son just helped me the other day. He was cleaning the baseboards um, with this. And I just put in some water and some cleaning solution. And then he went, he kind of scrubbed the baseboards and then went behind with a paper towel. So these are also great for cleaning walls. If you have textured walls, these are great for that. Uh, you don't want to be too aggressive with the scrubbing because of the abrasiveness. But this is great for scrubbing walls, shower, doors, um, tubs, things like that. So I did get a refill of the heads that go to that. I got some floor cleaning solution, the Fabuloso brand. I use a lot. I like the lemon scent. But I thought I'd go ahead and try this Ocean Paradise just because like the scented plugins that I have in my house right now are all like Hawaiian, like the Glade plugins are all like the Hawaiian scent and I don't want to mix too many scents and make it, make it to where the, the potential buyers coming into our house get a headache, like immediately walking through our house. So I'm trying to stick to the same kind of scents. So I went ahead and picked up that. And then speaking of those, oops, I think my camera's about to die. Speaking of those Hawaiian scents that I have, I also got these Glade spray refills. Well, they're not Glade. They are by Sure Sense, but on the top it says for use in Glade, Lysol, and Airwick dispensers. So these just put out a puff of scent <laughs> every, I think, 18 to 18 minutes to hour, I think I'm trying to remember, 18 minutes, an hour, and three hours, and you can kind of set how often you want it to spray, and I put these in our bathrooms. There was two other scents. There was, I think, a lavender scent and then a, a fresh linen scent, and those ones just did not smell very good at all. I think out of the three that I saw, that I saw and kind of tested out, these ones smelled the best, the Hawaiian ones. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those for the bathrooms. I also got some Spray Away Palm Olive. So this is kind of like the Dawn dish soap foaming. I don't, actually, I don't know if this one foams. I don't think it has the foaming head at all, but um, it's just dish soap in a spray form. And I thought this was a great deal, even though I am a Dawn dish soap person, I don't, ever really use palm olive. I just thought this would be great for cleaning a ton of different things. You don't just have to use it for dishes. You can use it um, to clean bathrooms, tubs, sinks, things like that. And honestly, the smell of palm olive always reminds me of my grandma because that's she used palm olive. That was her, her brand for dish soap. So yeah, so picked up that. And then I did get a couple boxes of these Airwick stick ups in the orange citrus scent. That was the only one they had. These are great for putting on like the sides of your garbage can um, in RVs. I like to use these in my closets because I don't know what it is. Our, our closet in our master bedroom can smell kind of like dingy after a while. So I like to put in like scent absorbers or like scent um, anything like satchels, things like that in my, uh, closet because it does tend to get, it just kind of smells old after a while with the door closed. So I did get two packages of those. And then I did get a couple of these paint sleeves and a couple of paint brushes just for touching up, um, paint in our house before we sell. Uh, so I think these especially the the sleeves are great. There is some shedding on these brushes, but if you're just using it for a quick touch-up project, it'll work fine. I actually got a couple different sizes that we used already, but I did pick up those. I got some cleaning vi vinegar by LA's Totally Awesome because I think there is a concoction of, I think it's dish soap and I know I've definitely used dish soap and vinegar for like soap scum, but I'm trying to figure out a concoction for my, to clean out my oven because I can't do like the, the
the fumes from oven cleaner. I just can't do it. So I'm trying to find a more natural way to clean my oven. And I think from the recipe that I read, vinegar, I can't remember it, but vinegar was like the main ingredient in that. If you know a good oven cleaning recipe with more natural products, please leave, leave those down in the comment section down below. Because again, I just, I cannot mess around with the, the scent or the fumes from oven cleaner. It's just too strong. Okay, so for the plane ride, I got a couple of these inflatable neck pillows. So I got one in blue and one in gray. And I like the fact that these are inflatable because we are going to have so much stuff. I mean, we're literally, you guys, we're going to be living out of our suitcases for a while. And so any, we're going to need every inch of room in our luggage as possible. And so I like the fact that these are inflatable. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these. I did buy one for my son not too long ago and he used it and he said it was comfortable. So um, I did pick up that. And then I got this flashlight and waist bag combo clip on. You can clip it onto the leash for my dogs. This is going to be great for traveling. We do have to drive to another state um, to catch our flight to Japan um, because we have our dogs. So uh, I figured this would be good in case we need to have some potty breaks in the middle of the, if we're driving in the middle of the night. So went ahead and grabbed that. I do already have the one that is a hand sanitizer combo. So there is one at Dollar Tree as well that has um, the bags, the dispenser, but it's a hand sanitizer instead of a flashlight. So I went ahead and grabbed that for the dogs. I also got my daughter a 10 pack of masks for the plane ride. We do have to wear masks. It's a very long plane ride. Um, and I'm pretty sure we have to still wear face masks in Japan as well. Um, so I did go ahead and get her this 10 pack of disposables, um, mostly just for the plane ride. And then we'll go back to using fabric masks but I went ahead and grabbed that for her. So that was all of the cleaning, I think, and plain supplies that I have so far this week. And you guys, I couldn't help myself. I had to get some stationery. Um, I just love, I love Dollar Tree stationery the most. And I found some new spiral bound mini notebooks and all of these really fun glitter colors. So I actually already used the green one. I started using that, but I thought these would be perfect to um, use to write down my list for things that we're going to pack, important phone numbers. It's a very small notebook. It's like the perfect size for that. And I especially love the clear spiral bound um, binding on it. I love that. I just think it's so cool, but it's just lined paper. And again, I just really love the size of these. I think it's perfect for writing down my different lists that I'm going to have and impor again, important phone numbers, things like that. I've kind of already started doing that in here. I already have written down all of the serial numbers for our electronics and everything like that for when it goes on the shipping container. And then we have purple and pink or fuchsia and pink. So I thought these were really fun. I couldn't pass them up. I just think they're the perfect size for lists and notes. I also got myself a pack of highlighters to go ahead and use in my little notebooks to check off my to-do lists and things like that. So I like these because they're the dual tip. So you get three different colors. I mean, you do get the highlighter yellow, but then you also get the orange and the pink. If you guys hear a weird noise, my husband is actually outside shoveling um, the front yard. He's like moving dirt around. So apologies about that. Um, I did get some more of these magnetic list pads. I just couldn't say no to these. And in my video yesterday, I kind of talked about how I wouldn't be hauling a lot of like craft supplies and things like that um, from here on out until we move. Uh, because I can't take a lot of things with me. I'm going to seriously have to downsize. But you guys, I couldn't stay away from the stationery. I, I can't. I can't do it. 
Um, so I went ahead and picked up two new magnetic list pads. And this is probably my favorite list pad I've ever hauled from Dollar Tree. I love the florals around this. This is just so beautiful. And it does have like a little perforated line right here so you can tear off this bottom section. But I love using these in my journals. And I'm actually getting ready to build my Japan junk journal. And so I'll be working, I'll be starting to work on that this weekend and filming that for you guys. But I think this stationery would look really pretty in that journal. And then I have this one, Stay Wild Moon Child. And I'm actually going to be building um, Zodiac journals as well. So I think that this would look really cute in those Zodiac journals. So grabbed those. And this is the first time I think I've seen these like legal pads in this size or these notepads. They're five by eight inch and there's three different colors in here. So I thought these would be neat again for junk journaling or just journaling in general. You can fold these in half and bind them into your journals. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then I also picked up two, I'm just, I think I'm starting to grab things that I think I'm not gonna have for a while. I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm stalking, I'm like squirreling away things and I know I shouldn't be doing that because again, I'm gonna seriously have to downsize, but I picked up two packs of these paper bags because I love to use these in my journals um, and they have many different uses. I've done collages on these before. I've actually bound them into my junk journals. Um, but I also want to make a journal completely out of paper bags as well. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that, but I thought I would just go ahead and grab them now. I'm sure I can get this kind of stuff in Japan. I know I can, but I'm also not going to have a car for a while. I have to learn how to drive over there. I have to get a Japanese driver's license. Um, so it's not like I'm going to, we're going to get over there and I'm going to be able to go shopping, um, to all of these different Japanese dollar stores or places. I have to learn my way around. I have to learn how to get around. <laughs> so I am stocking up a little bit. What I do want to say about the 40, the 40 pack is Dollar Tree also sells a 30 pack and they mix it in with the 40 pack of paper bags. The same exact thing, same exact packaging, but just pay attention and make sure you're getting the 40 pack if it's available because they're sneaky about that. They will they will put the 30 pack mixed in. I did have to dig to find these. So I just wanted to point that out. All right, getting down to the last few things, I did get some candles. And these reminded me of like mini Yankee candles, just with the lid. And Dollar Tree has sold these types of candles, I think by the Luminescence, their Luminescence brand. Um, these ones are like a wellness collection. So you have healing, you have tranquil, you have clarify, and then soothing. And all of these smell very good. They smell very sweet. This one, and I did smell them in the store, but let me just refresh my memory. Yeah, so this one smells like the pink one. Tranquil smells like the candy sweet tarts. And then the blue one, I think, smelled like plumeria. No, not this one. It didn't smell like plumeria. This one actually, it throws you off because the color of the wax, it looks like it's going to be like a fresh scent but this is like a sweet, like fresh baked something scent. I can't quite point it out, but it smells like something's baking in the oven, which is very odd again, because of the color of the wax. This one I think smelled like plumeria. Yeah, the purple one I think is my favorite. It smells like plumeria um, flowers. And then this peach colored one, this one smells really good too. I can't, this one smells fresh, but sweet at the same time. These just smell amazing. And I love Dollar Tree candles. And I like using these in small spaces like bathrooms or I'll put, sometimes I'll put like 
a candle over there in the corner or on my windowsill of my kitchen. And I just thought these would be nice to have for when we are staging our house, kind of maybe have one burning. So I went ahead and grabbed those candles and these little canisters were just too good to pass up. I shouldn't have gotten them because again, moving, but I couldn't pass them up. I just thought they were so adorable and they're giving me like a vintage feel, especially because of the knobs on them. There was a couple other like, I guess shapes, but they didn't have like these cute little knobs on the top. So I just chose these ones. They are glass and I also saw them in purple as well. If there was a clear option, I would have purchased that over the pink. I actually would love these to be clear. Um, I just think they would look a little bit more vintage looking that way. I know there's a way to obviously stain glass. I think you can do it with like food coloring. Something about food coloring and baking, you can like um, kind of get the stained glass look. But I wonder if there's a way to remove color from glass. I'll have to I'll have to check it out because again, I would love these to be clear. Um, I just think that they would look way more vintage looking if they were clear. But I just couldn't pass these up, you guys. These are adorable. And this like really, really nice quality glass, but I could probably put like, I don't know, Q-tips or things like that in these. I love hauling Dollar Tree's reusable totes or reusable bags. They just have always have the cutest designs, prints. I love all the Disney ones they put out, but you guys, I found a Tom and Jerry reusable bag and I could not leave the store without this. Tom and Jerry was one of my favorite cartoons to watch on the weekends growing up. Tom and Jerry, the Jetsons, Flintstones, all of that. And it just reminds me of my childhood. So I had to pick this up. They also had a couple of new like Disney ones. They had, <clears throat> excuse me, a Stitch. Um, there wasn't Lilo on that one. It was just a Stitch bag. Um, but I just went, I just went for Tom and Jerry. I thought this would be fun to have um, on our drive when we um, catch our flights. We can put snacks and stuff for our road trip in it. So I went ahead and picked up that. And the very last item were these watermelon gummy bears. This is a hundredth year anniversary edition or hundredth. Have they been around for a hundred years? I actually, one day I went down the rabbit hole and I was like reading about the the brand and they're actually from it, this is a German brand of candy um, they started out in Germany yeah and it says made in Germany on the back I think they have a couple of um, warehouses here in the United States but yeah this is a German candy I never knew that I spent like an hour going down the rabbit hole I think I started on Wikipedia and like I was just reading about this German brand of candy. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed some gummy bears because I'm on a gummy candy kick. Um, anything to do with any sort of gummy candy, fruit snack, anything like that, and I will tear it up. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And again, I will leave that video that I uploaded yesterday linked down below for you guys and at the end of this video. So you guys can go check it out if you're interested in learning why we are moving over there and um, everything that's been kind of going on. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I don't know if I will have a Dollar Tree haul next week or not. I'm not going to make any promises on that. Um, but I will have other content on my channel um, in the next week. So I'll see you then. Take care.